Okay, so I'm going to be making um, a grad or prom or high school graduation dress for my sister. And I chose this pattern. It's a, a wedding dress, but I'm also doing it white, obviously. It's very simple. It's just a plain gown. And the reason how they got all these like kind of like gather ruffle thing, they just kind of sewn up the fabric with the lining. That's how it looks a bit more interesting. So that's what the pattern is. The fabric I'm using is this. It's kind of burgundy fabric with this like gold threading trim right here so that will look really pretty so first we're gonna cut out all the fabric pieces what you do you just follow out the the guidelines a pattern is just all the instructions so um you just cut out the fabric here as it's happening right there and then after you cut out all the pieces um well we still have to cut out the uh, underlining because it's kind of flimsy so we're going to need another piece of over there we have the white broadcloth and we're going to sew that to the back to all the pieces and then we have line i'm going to cut out all the pieces the fabric pieces which are the burgundy color and plus this is um, a white broadcloth non-stretch what it's a acts as an underlining because this is the um, since the main material is like kind of flimsy and you want these dresses to be really like what's the word i don't know perky and it's like firm and to make it more like thicker has more substance so you um just based on the white it's all in the instructions and now see this is the front part and this is the side front I'm gonna pin it and then sew it and start to put together the uh, body okay, now it's on the the pattern their instructions they normally tell you to sew the boning onto the main fabric but what i like to do is create another bodice so it's um Pretty much the bodice just without like that. It's an, an extra piece so that you'll be able to sew the boning on. So that'll be much easier. Then you'll sew this onto the main dress. Right. So I make this extra bodice, right? So you go in from the inside. What you normally do, you want to fit it on your the model first or whoever you're making it for or for yourself. That way you'll be able to know where to put the piece of boning. This, this is called actually Rigeline. It's a type of boning but what boning is like tends to work they use it in like you know corsets where they have like all those pieces around and it's like really tight and fitted well what this does it helps to hold the shape and like give like that's why it's called boning give it like some bone and some structure right so normally you sew it um on like the joins and around here um some people like well actually not most store bought they put it over top of the boob like this but the thing is i don't really like to do this because it doesn't look so natural because it looks kind of like sprung out because you can see it has a curve, right? So what I do, I go just underneath. That way you have a more natural looking shape. And you still have support as well. And normally you wear like a strapless one underneath to give more shape. So like, and you sew these pieces on. Okay, so here's the, the bodice part which I'm going to be putting the boning or rigeline on. It's the stuff that gives it like shape, boning, I explained it earlier. And so here's the main, this is just an extra piece of broadcloth that we'll sew it on top um, on the back side of the main dress. So this is what the original looks like. And what you want to do, you want to actually try it on, if you're fitting it on yourself, try it on yourself and then you mark it. But I already tried it on my sister and I did the markings. And so I want the, this to be right underneath, right underneath the boob so it will go down like this. That way it will give you still support underneath and you'll still look natural and it won't look like sprung out like that okay unless that's the look you're going for then go ahead and also you want to know where to stop so when you try this on you want to sit down to make sure that it doesn't go past and so it will stick into your legs when you sit that's uncomfortable so i marked that off also so this piece will only go to here and also on the side for extra support because they always put it underneath but the, right on the side right here there will be a piece that goes right underneath. This is kind of like just in front of your armpit. And this piece will go all the way down. And that will give you support as well. And for the back, I'm going to put, there'll be one, this is that side piece. And then there'll be one, you can put them on the joints. The um, pattern normally say to put them on, like open this out and sew onto the joints. But it doesn't matter because it's the under piece. You can put them wherever you want. Depends on where you decide to want more shape and holding. And after you finish sewing the, the main pieces on and try it on and it's still not enough you can always add more so. so this one will be on the side right here and then I'll have one more right here and this model's a bit skinny but anyways 
I'll have another one here and also the zipper acts kind of as one, it'll be right in the middle. So the zipper is kind of stiff so that will help. Finished bodice and this is obviously the front and I decided to put four little ones in the front, one on the side, two at the back and just the same like this. And you want to make, see how it's like, um, like curved outwards? You want it like this, see how it's like curved, the curve is against your body so that way when you wear it, it will be come flat. If you have it the other way, see how it curves out, it curves outwards, and then that won't look good. It won't lie flat against your body. Okay, so to, to do the fitting for the zipper, you have the invisible zipper right here, and it's gonna go right down the center. You wanna fit it on the person, or if it's yourself, you can get like someone to help you and make sure this fits well and then you want to pin this together because everyone that normally see that's a bit bigger and if you want the exact fit you can't just follow what the pattern says you actually have to go on and try it on and fit this and like this and you just pin it and then what you can do and you can go in with like a, a pencil and you mark the inside so you know where you're going to put your zipper and that way and then you want see how this you don't want to cut off that much amount of material you kind of make this slowly taper to like the thin point because then you want the bottom to be more poofy so it's simple like that okay to sew in the lining this isn't an industrial like um, standard way that they do because on patterns they always say to sew the top first and uh, and then hand stitch on the side since I hate hand stitching and it's so slow and it takes you forever and it doesn't do a good job as machine right and it's not as secure so what you do is first you take the lining you turn it inside out, and this is inside out as well. Like you put the right sides together and match up. You pin the top first, this, so it's kind of like basting it in. So you make sure you match up all the um, seams, especially in the front. So I normally start pinning from the center. So you pin out all the way here. On the edges where we get to where the zipper is, there'll be some extra, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so then you pin that down. Pin this down flat, and then see? You can't see well. There's the zipper is right underneath here, and you can feel the coil is here. And what you want to do, since you had already sewn the zipper onto the main dress, you go on the back, see? And this is the lining, so you pin, and you sew right on the line where you basted the zipper on. And that way, it will be nice and clean when you turn it inside out. So you sew the two sides of the zippers first, and then you do the top. To do the top, once you have the zipper, I've already done it, but this part will be open. What you're going to do is fold it to the back like this, and then you sew across the top. And then when you flip it the right way out, it will be all nice and you won't have to worry about no hand stitching. Okay, so the lining. See like this? See now this part is, is sewn in. See the zipper is here. This is all down and there's no hand stitching. I also added the little straps to hang on the hanger and this part you can just add it in any time or you can even sew it on top so just like this. The next step I'm going to do is under stitch yes it's called under stitch. So what under stitching is is this is the main fabric since if you just wear it like this the lining is going to pop up and you're going to see it and that's not going to look very nice so what you do you open this out and you sew right along on the lining and attach it to the dress underneath but you don't sew on the outer layer so it will sew like this. There's a special foot for it, it has this like weird kind of a toe you could say and it helps guide you along the track to sew just on this. In okay so I finished the hem uh, oh wait there, I finished the hem on the lining now what I'm going to do is going through and matching up the X's because on the pattern, where is it? Like I have an X here. You match um, the fabric to the lining and then what, what that creates is you can see right here that kind of like uh, Princess Belle kind of a look. Okay, so this is what the dress looks so far. Um, I finished pinning up all the matching the X's and there's two tiers actually, make sure. Um, there's the top one, it's just smaller and the bottom one pulls up more. And so this is the front. There's the back. Um, so now I'm just going to sew it on securely. And then afterwards, you want to try it on with uh, your heels to know the, the proper length of the, the dress. And then you finish up the hem on the bottom, and then that'll be about it. So now I'm um, getting netting to make the dress uh, poofy. So what I've done, you normally they do netting. They double isn't much because you have to uh, gather this. So this becomes, that's what the one 
I'm just, you can do a double thread stitching, but I just have one. Uh, one is good enough because it's just knitting. And then when you pull the threads, it gets all bunched up. And then that's what helps make the dresses, um, big gowns and stuff poofy. Um, and also when you measure it, you want to make sure it's either more than double because double is actually very, very little. So you want to um, have the netting either th triple or sometimes they do more or if they do a multiple layers. But this dress, I'm just doing one layer. Okay, so here's the netting now and I've finished gathering it and I've pinned it to the, the underside of the lining. Make sure you want to do it on the underside so that it's not itchy against your skin. So you like open up then that'll be for the inside for your legs. Um, and now I'm just going to zigzag the netting on. 